Hello everyone. I think many people watching have eaten such a Nutella and go. We open up the pack and we see crispy sticks that need to be dipped in chocolate paste. Pretty cool stuff. Today we will make exactly the same, only bigger. To do this, we will need a lot of nuts. They're raw now. Therefore, we open them and scatter all the nuts onto baking sheets. Then we send this all into the oven. We will roast them at 200 degrees in convection mode. Thanks to this, the nuts will become many times more fragrant. After 20 minutes, we go and get them. Sometimes the hazelnut shell can be bitter, but I tried and everything's fine with these nuts and it's pointless to peel them. Therefore, for convenience, we simply pour them into bowls. Nutella also needs sugar, milk chocolate, cocoa, and salt. We collect 800 grams of nuts and pour them into a blender. Also add four tablespoons of milk chocolate, the same amount of sugar, two tablespoons of cocoa, and salt for balance. We cover everything up with a lid and install on the mixer. We crush the whole mass for 40 minutes until it turned into a paste. Now we transfer it to a custom made container. The blender wasn't good enough for a second portion of a Nutella, and it broke. Therefore, we will have to change the cooking technology a little bit. We install a meat grinder into the mixer, pour nuts into the saucer, and grind them. And we meet through a really fine grid. Thus, we pass all the hazelnuts through it, and pour 800 grams of already crushed nuts into the melange. This includes sugar, chocolate, and salt. While we wait half an hour until it grinds all into a paste, we shift the Nutella into a mold and load the next portion. Later we made a double portion at once and brought the paste to such a super smooth consistency. We cooked Nutella all day until we filled out the form. Our paste is made. It remains to cook large sticks. We'll have to bake them in our big oven. But first we'll chop some wood and make a fire.
push the firewood into the oven and let it warm up. For the dough, pour three liters of 330 milliliters of water. There is also quite a lot of salt, sugar, and dry yeast. Pour one kilogram of flour and mix with a whisk until the dough becomes homogenous. We wait half an hour for the yeast to work and add four kilograms of flour. Knead the dough with a spatula. Pour in 300 milliliters of oil. And knead it with your hand. Now cover it up with film. Literally half an hour in the sun, and it has risen pretty good. We mince it a little bit. And again, covered up with the film. Do not forget to throw firewood so that the stove continues to heat up. The dough is ready. We tear off a part of it and put it on the scales. Each stick will weigh 850 grams. We dust the table with the flour. Our dough is on it. We stretch it and spread it out with our hands. We turn it up and pinch it until we form such a long stick. We fold it three times. And with the help of a spatula, we transfer it to a huge baking sheet. We return the dough to its previous form. We make a fold in the parchment, and we prop it all up with a towel. Thus, we form five strips of dough. Meanwhile, the stove has warmed up pretty well. Break the coals to the sides. Inside the stove, we need to raise the humidity. Therefore, we fill up a balloon with water. Tighten the lid. And pump the air, creating pressure. And now we spray water evenly on the hot bricks from this spray gun. Dough sticks have already risen. They need to be stretched out on a baking sheet. We trim it a little bit with our hands. And push it into the oven. We close it with two lids. And after half an hour, we open it back up. The first batch of huge sticks with Nutella is ready. Let's make another one. In my opinion, the second batch turned out even more beautiful. An enlarged copy of the Nutella box was made to order for us. Shake the can of primer and cover the box with it. After that, we blow everything out with brown paint. We transfer the box to the studio. 
arm ourselves with acrylic paints, brushes, and rollers. Now we need white paint. We draw borders with a brush. And we make a white background with a roller. We draw the outline of the inscriptions with a pencil. And we decorate it all. Done. We insert our Nutella mold into the box. As well as the huge sticks. In my opinion, it turned out really great. Well, let's take a stick and dip it into the Nutella. And let's try it. Our dough sticks are very tasty, although not as crispy as in the original. But the Nutella is very similar and tastes even more nutty. In general, I think that our huge Nutella worked out really well. Write in the comments, I want another huge meal, Funzai, and I will definitely come up with something. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Bye, everybody.